hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is jemima this is a part two of the series advice to mbbs aspirant if you've not seen the part one please go and see it i'll put the link up for you with that said let's get started so this next tip i want to give to you it all depends on you now you may be required to accept another course in my own case i was given anatomy admission and i accepted the admission there and then i didn't want to lose the opportunity so if need be you may accept another course and study through that course and graduate and come in for mbbs as a second degree or you may continue with that course and probably get to MBBS admission by your second year and that's it you cross over you can still accept that course and cross over through the crossing over program that some medical universities do and then you get in there are so many routes that you can get this MBBS admission but just have it in your mind that you may accept another course it is not abnormal okay it doesn't make you less intelligent it doesn't make you less smart you are still smart you are still intelligent only that you're making smarter choices you're making intelligent choices another thing i'm going to tell you is please don't fall for scams because you're desperate to get admission there are so many scam websites that will tell you oh come pay so 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 amount of money and we'll get you admission so many fake agents will tell you oh come we'll give you mbbs admission verify i'm not saying that there are no real routes to pay money to get admission no matter how we try to mask it we know there are avenues like that but if you're spending such an amount of money put it into the right hands don't fall for scams please another thing i'm going to tell you is please by all means, use MCAT tutors, use JAM tutors if need be. I am not ashamed to say that there was a point in my life that my parents registered me for JAM or MCAT tutoring. So just do your research on the best JAM tutors, do your research on the best MCAT tutors and pay and learn. There are so many things that this JAM or MCAT tutors will tell you and show you that you studying on your own, you would never have imagined it. Encourage your parents to register you for a good MCAT academy or a good JAM academy. It's better you put your hands in different ways, read on your own, join community, going for tutoring try different methods don't just be stringent on one particular method there are so many things that you can put your legs in that will help to increase your jump score or your mcat score another thing i forgot to add is that you need to find out do the school use jump score and post ume score is it 50 50 is it 60 40 is it 70 30 or do they write post ume or do they use just the o level grades and the jump score to so just find out whatever it is that applies to the school that you want another thing i'm going to tell you is find out a study schedule that will work for you while preparing for your mcat or for your jam or your post ume use the right study schedule find out what works for you it is now that you should know what works for you so that by the time you finally get into medical school by then you already have an established study schedule you already have an established studies plan and while other students will be struggling to find theirs out you will already find yours so use this opportunity to cover up all the topics i know there are mcat syllables there are jam syllables there are post term syllables follow this through and use it to study in preparation for your MCAT or for your JAM or for your post UME. Another thing, of course, I'm going to tell you is past questions, practice questions. Use MCAT practice questions. Use JAM practice questions. Use post UME practice questions. Or if it's WIAC or it's NECO that you're writing, use SAT practice questions. At least it will help you know the nature of questions, what kind of questions that they usually ask, and will help you to study to know your readiness for that exam, and to also help you to brush up the knowledge of all the things that you have studied for that exam. Another thing I should actually let you know in passing is that medicine is not a do or die affair. Not everybody is called to be a medical doctor. Not every MBBS aspirant will eventually get MBBS admission. So know the category you fall in, except you just don't have a choice. But if you have a choice, the MBBS journey is a long, lonely and tasking journey that you should not embark in. If someone else is pushing you to go in, it's not a do or die affair. You may have to change your course of study. It doesn't make you less of a person. It doesn't make you less intelligent. It just means that you're making a smart decision. Another thing, of course, I'm going to tell you is be realistic. Realistic. Of course, be realistic, but be hopeful. You can't expect to have a 40% in your MCAT or a 40% in your JAMB and then get MBBS admission. You already know it's not possible. So be realistic. In as much as yes, I would say be optimistic, be hopeful. At the same time, be realistic. There's a particular percentage that you will score that you should tell yourself the truth and tell yourself that it's time for me to change my course. Even though any other person is trying to encourage you and tell you, oh, you did well, you know that a 40% MCAT score or a 40% JAM score cannot get to MBBS admission. Be realistic and tell yourself the truth. Of course, I'm going to repeat myself again. 
know why you want this mbbs admission know what you are looking for know what is your dream know what you want because believe me or not there will be so many times that you would have yourself rethinking you will have yourself wondering what on earth made you to study medicine because it is a long lonely and tasking road it's not something that you should go into if you are not sure of mbbs is just like marriage mbbs is a husband that you get married to and when you get married to him he cuts you off from everyone around you so be sure of what you want before you get in don't just do it because someone else is pushing you if you have a choice do it because that is what you want for yourself so that anytime you find yourself in a situation where you're feeling so bad you would always know that this is what you wanted for yourself another thing i'm going to tell you is during your mcat preparation or during your jam preparation use the right mcat materials use the right jam materials how would you get it is through this community this community that i've told you of through your senior colleagues that is how you get the right material ask them what did you use to study to get this kind of score find out people that got 70 percent and above in their mcat or in their jam find out what materials they used to study it is in this mcat academies or jam academies you'll be able to know the right materials to study ideally you should aim for an 80 percent in your mcat you should aim for an 80 percent in your jam that is how you will be sure of mbbs admission so work towards it with the right materials another thing i'm going to let you know is that i mean yes we try to mask it but there are avenues through which you can use long legs to get to mbbs admission if you have someone inside that can help you get that mbbs admission by all means you're lucky you are blessed i wasn't lucky enough to have someone to help me get admission i had to get it on merit but not everybody have to get mbbs admission on merit there are some people who definitely have to use their parents friends or distant relatives to get that admission and it's totally okay don't let anybody make you feel less of yourself because you use long legs to get admission the important thing is that you go through medical school the right way and graduate the right way and become the right doctor it doesn't matter how you got in so if you have anybody that can help you get the mbbs admission by all means make use of this opportunity it is a golden opportunity that many of us were not privileged and lucky enough to have another thing of course i'm going to tell you is that in accepting another course don't accept that course with the mindset that you will cross over in 200 level yes like i've mentioned you have to be hopeful but if in your 100 level you can't get a cgp of 4.5 and above the chances of being able to cross over to mbbs is very slim the competition is high if you accept that course have a plan b ask yourself what if i don't have the opportunity to cross over what if i don't make the required cgp to cross over what will i do don't just go all in and accept a particular course just because you feel that you'll be able to cross over what if you're not able to cross over what will you do so make sure you keep your plan b intact another very important thing i'm going to tell you is you will fill a lot of forms while registering for your MCAT or while registering for your JAMP or while registering for your post UME or for your SAT or for your WAEC or for your NECO. Please cross check every form before you submit it. Make sure your name is spelled correctly. Make sure your date of birth is spelled correctly. Make sure everything is correct because what it will cost you to make a change of your name or change of date of birth or change of any of this data another thing of course i will tell you if you do not have up to 75 to 80 to 90 percent mcat score or jam score don't even bother applying for all these high-end medical universities like unn like unilag you will just be wasting that jam score try to apply for those medical universities that have average number of aspirants that the competition is average or the competition is low and by all means if your parents can afford a private medical university please go for private at least you will graduate in your six years record time you will not have to waste your time with ASO strike and the last but not the least be prayerful okay let god direct you there is a medical university that is meant for you there's a medical school that is meant for you and there's absolutely no way you would know it if you are not prayerful pray about it and let god direct your path let god lead you to the right school of course i have a dedicated playlist for mbvs aspirants i'll put the link up for you guys with all these suggestions anything at all that i've forgotten to add while editing this video i will add it i mean your girl Jimena. Bye.